So I've already taken a look at the three asteroids that came out in 2013 when Gundam Seed uh, did its remastered. And they're good. They're great. All three of them. But I haven't looked at the three that came out in 2003. So here's the first one. And Asteroid Red Frame, of course. And even though it's 21 years old now, it's still a decent kit. Of course, the new one blows out of the water. Even in terms of the uh, actual design. Like, it's taller... It's thinner, has way more posability, but this one, this one is still really good, especially if you compare it to other kits from the same time, all the other C kits, especially in posability. It, uh, it does a really good job. Like, check out that, because back in the day, it was a peg going out of the torso into a polycap in the shoulder. You got a lot more going on here, and even the elbow, one joint, but that's a decent bend. Now, unfortunately, torso is a little limited because you just got a diaper going on there's no posability in the skirts but because they're not that long the ball joint is still pretty free in the knees while they look like they could be better that's about as far as it's not terrible not, not terrible at all angles is where it's at these are something else i think they might just be better than the new one because the new one doesn't have that big uh, hinge in the in the front of the foot there i mean it's good but it can't do that. So, I mean, while it does have better posability, this one has some unique stuff going on, even now. And it does have the beam saber. Uh, beam saber is in the back. And they do come with specific beam effects for the asteroid. I always love that, that the asteroid's got this, like, beam love. Because I, I don't know if you can see it very well, but a lot of jagged lines going around. Even the sides, it's rough. Whereas if I bring in one from the same time, around the same time, see it's just smooth. I think they use these for the uh, Koski as well. Probably some other ones I'm not thinking of, but I do like that. It's just really unique to have something so uh, specific for just the Asteroids. At least at the time, just for the Asteroids. And while the backpack moves down, it's a weird connection port, and it doesn't work. Like, even as far as I can tell, the flight pack from the 2013 version doesn't connect unless there's some kind of adapter. But that's just a way too big of a of a port to go in there. So yeah, it didn't come with a flight pack, didn't come with a Baku head, but it did come with the shield, which I don't think came with stickers. One of the three came with stickers for the uh, colors here, and I'm pretty sure I would have put them on if they did. Or at least, like, there'd be some remnants or something. But of course, since this is the red frame, it does come with the Gabura Straight. Which, I, I, true, I did a crappy job putting Gundam Barker on this handle. But the actual, the whole thing is cast in the silver. Really nice, or at least covered, like, coated in silver. While the sheath is, well, it looks like the actual katana from the 2013 version. Which is pretty bad. The 2003 one has silver, while the other one's just white. And also, when it goes into the, uh, she the sheath, it actually like, locks in place. Really nice. Unfortunately, the peg that connects to the skirt, not that good. It's uh, very loose. Very loose. Now, thankfully, it uh, really connects well into the hand. It's like made perfectly for the Astra hand. 100%. Now, of course, I don't know why I didn't keep it with the uh, beam rifle, but I just, I don't know, something about having the katana is all I really felt it needed. And after that one, we got the blue frame, and as far as I can tell, it's the same blue frame, or it's meant to be the same blue frame that turns into like the second L and the L revised, because it has the serpent tail sticker. Other than that, they did change the stickers on the front, you know, they could have been really, really lazy and just giving you the same exact sheet, but they did change the metallic blue, or two metallic blue. And here's another reason I don't think it came with stickers for the color parts on the shield, because I have the Serpentale sticker on there, but nothing on here, and I'm pretty sure I would have put them on. So I, I just assume it doesn't come with it. I couldn't find any information online with the actual sticker sheet. I might just not have been looking hard enough. Uh, but the unique weapon for this one is a bazooka. Which we do see later on with uh, Jen in the, uh, in the high green line. I think it was a, one of the Stargazer kits. And yeah, you can use the trigger finger hand that this kit comes with. I mean, usually you'd probably want to use it also for the uh, beam rifle, but like I said, I don't have the beam rifle attached to my suit, so... I just use the bazooka. Still has the beam sabers on the back. You got a bazooka, and it's pretty nice, and it holds it nicely. 
It's good. It doesn't jiggle around. Some bazookas are very, very floppy, but this one's nice and tight. And finally, my favorite, actually, is the Astray Green Frame, because we don't get many green frames. There was a 1100 no grade. Have we even got a master grade? I don't think so. But we really should have, because why the hell not? Just change it, uh, the color, and then give it its unique weapon. But this thing, once again, exactly the same. Just has a new sticker. I don't know what that means. It's got a win for the leg. I don't know what that means. Everything else is the same. Nothing's except for like the color. And I'd like the gold uh, sensors for the cameras and the eyes. That's kind of neat. But it also comes with a shield. And this is where the stickers are. See, it does have the stickers attached. And they're holding. Now, I got this around the same time when it came out, which I, I want to say 2006. I'm not, not going to look, but I, I think that's what it was. So it's just weird that they finally said, let's give it stickers for the shield to make it look right. But the thing I love about this is its unique weapon. And that's the beam rifle axe thingy. It has a name. I, I don't remember it. But I love it. Because, like, here's the beam rifle mode. Holds it pretty much perfectly just because this nub piece on the back goes into the groove here. And it just, like, because it's not, it doesn't actually fill the handhole. But that, I think, is what helps. It's just shaped just right to go into the, into the, uh, back of the arm. You can't bend the elbow that much, but I'm okay with that. Because then what you can do is flip it around. Now this part is actually completely conformed to the hand on the inside. And now you have an axe. A more melee, like with physical weaponry. It's not a big blade. It could have definitely been a little bigger, but you get the idea. But then what you can do, and it's funny because it's all one like color. I didn't, you wouldn't initially think it could move, but it can. You have this slider. So once you do that, now you use this piece. I was up against the arm before, and now we can take two of the uh, the beam effects that the kit comes with. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find two. It really annoys me. But I just used one of the, uh, I modified the peg and one of the uh, double O ones. But that's basically what you get. Just to pretend that both of these are jagged and a little shorter. Yeah, you got this cool double beam saber thing, which I love. It's just so dumb. I really do like it. And they even utilize the uh, the porthole on the uh, skirt of the Astray red frame that I used for the katana. Because it's got a peg, so you can just... Let's put it back in a gun mode. That makes more sense. You just... Pick it right there. And it actually held way better than the uh, katana sheath. It's like it was made for this and this alone. So, yeah, definitely my favorite out of the three. Just, it has such a unique weapon. Like, I like all three of them, but the weapon on the green frame really makes it stand apart. But having these three together definitely makes me happy. Why didn't we get a gold frame? What is up with that? Was there some kind of special release gold frame I don't know about? I mean, maybe they didn't want to splurge on the gold chrome. They could have just done gold plastic like that Destiny goof. Uh, I just feel that there was a little bit of wasted potential, because Astray's just seemed to scream, recolor, and remold. 